This is The Wheel Weaves Watches, a spoiler-free breakdown podcast of The Wheel of Time on Amazon Prime. I'm your host, Danny, and I'm joined by my co-host, Brett, and we're here to bring you an in-depth look into The Wheel of Time show on Amazon Prime. We'll share reactions, episode breakdowns, and relevant background information without spoiling future content from the book series. So grab a drink, and let's get watching! We'd like to acknowledge and thank our executive producers, Brandy and Aaron Kirkwood, Sean McGuire, Yanis, Albert Lorenzo, Light Blinded Fool, Green Man, Davis Ferreira, Margaret, Big C, Bennett Williamson, Dylan C, Hannah Green, Neralia, Jordan Gower, and Jeff Searles. In this post-watch reaction episode, we are talking about episode two of season two yeah episode two is strangers and friends yeah and i love that they're continuing with the chapter title the book chapter titles as their episode titles yeah i think it's a pretty good transition they're kind of taking them from a little bit all over the place but i love it i know i like it and i mean it works pretty well because in this episode we get some strangers we get some friends it's like who the heck are these people who are those people who's that who's this and like our friends are meeting each other. They were strangers and now they're friends. Oh Min and goodness. Matt. That's oh, my favorite. I, I gotta say yeah. that that is my favorite connection duo. Yeah. It was so unexpected. They got me. They yeah, got me. Except remember how it was like, ooh, Flash last time and we saw Matt looking through a hole? Yeah. We saw Min's face pop up. But I wasn't sure if that was like connected. Like a funny cut. Yeah, but I was like, that's weird. So then I didn't like think of anything of it. And I was like, oh, that is actually what it was. I I love it. It is what it looked like. And you know what? And things ramped up this episode and we got some awesome fight scenes. We got stuff happening. We got crazy stuff. We have a merdral or a fade. Yeah. Nailed to door. They don't use the word merdral. No. That's a book term. It's like the official term merdral. For the fades. Because R is the most menacing sounding. Er. Er. That's true. That's why they don't call it muck duck. That's right. Yeah. It's murder. (laughs) You got it. You got it. Okay. So we got some stuff happening. So we might as well talk about Matt and Min first. Okay, sure. I mean, you brought it up and officially. Well, wait, what's our open? We open with Ran. Oh, yeah. I want to talk about the opening. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's talk about this mystery woman <laughs> okay yeah because i love it so much i know because last episode we got like one glimpse of rand and like tiny. that's about it yeah and this episode opens with rand and opens with like a holy moly we got a mystery woman but like and they're a in a sequence where he's killing everybody he loves oh yeah and... you know that's just normal stuff though that's like normal that's totally normal. Mm. We're not worried about that at all. Okay. It's fine. I'm just, I'm worried about that. If you so... if you recall last season, he was like, hey, is it true that you're, I'm going to go crazy and kill everyone I love? Yeah. Maybe he's got some hangups about that. Maybe. And then it doesn't help that the Dark One slash Ishmael is yeah. affecting his dreams. Yeah. Uh, uh, allegedly. 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 Uh-huh. Anyways. So at least things are going pretty well for him relationship wise because he seems to have this uh, new girlfriend. Hmm, that, landlord? Yeah. New landlord. Landlord. Yeah. He gets a discount on his room at the inn. It sounds like he's paying with sexual favors. There's a mutual understanding that maybe she's trying to replace an ex-lover with him and he's trying to forget About an ex-lover. Way. Exactly. Yeah. I don't want to say it, but like uh-huh. that's... And maybe they're both okay and with it. And nobody's suspicious of this woman at all. <laughs> I mean, I want, I, I'm going to just... I'm going to put it out there. I love it. I think you know it's a, I think she's a great influence on him. She actually I like this. is much less suspicious than I thought she was going to be. <laughs> if that makes sense. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I do like it. Yeah. And I don't know if he ever says her name out loud. He but does. But if you have the subtitles on. He oh, does he say says, it. Oh, Celine. Yeah. He yeah, says okay. it once. Oh, he does. Okay. Yeah. He only uses her name it. one time. Okay. Well, her name's Celine. Yeah. No, it's pretty good. I love it. I think that she's a great influence on him. I like the relationship. I wanted to continue. <laughs> yeah, uh, but one thing that I don't really love Ryan is Rand's the guy. job. Oh, he works Rand's at the new job. Yeah, like a hospital, right? Yeah, it is. It's like a mental health hospital for right. sure for like men who are having issues, are having some troubles. But when I first saw it, I was like, "Is this some sort of weird hospital for like male channelers who are like crazy?" Yeah, but like, no, that wouldn't make sense. And then we get this like backstory with this guy who's a veteran of the IEL War twenty yeah, years yeah. ago. So it is just people like it seems to be only men from what we've seen. Yeah. We didn't see any women in this facility. No, that's true. It does seem like it's like a psychiatric unit. Yeah. Or a psychiatric hospital for 
men. Okay, and here's the thing. So maybe we get... this is just like the men wing. Sure, there might be a. Let's go with that. I'm yeah. fine with that. But let's more to the point here. There's clearly one guy who works here who's just a total dick. Oh, he's the worst. Yeah, yeah and they paint a really bad picture of him. But then, okay, so Ren killed him. Oh like, yeah, straight up. Oh, that guy's dead. Also, by the way, like, we're, I'm jumping around a little bit because I'm so excited. But, but it's like, fine because he's a dick, that guy. No, no, I was going to so say the, four, the four gate in oh, Kyrian. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. The setting is amazing. It's yeah, perfect. that was a great We get set. to see, like, the topless towers of Kyrian that are, like, being constructed in the still. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, my mm-hmm. goodness. But, yeah, Rand totally kills a guy and, like, channels and kills him straight up. And then it's like, oh, no. Oh, no. Look what happened by accident. And then he goes back to his hotel room. and <laughs> Yeah, he's in. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Anyways, mm-hmm. okay, so we're just gonna blow past that one real fast, I guess. And well, then I that... like how later he's like, "Ah, that guy met with an unfortunate accident last night." But like the setup, the setup that yeah, he now gets to work Logan on the here. Okay, so I can kind of understand. It's like if this is actually a facility for people like Logan, yeah, in a sense, like it kind of makes sense that the tower would send them off because they don't want them there. Yeah. But anyways, I thought that he was supposed to stay there. I mean, but maybe, that's, I but know. also if yeah. he's just getting sent here to this hospital, mm-hmm. then that's fine. But the fact that Rand has like this smirk on his face the entire time. When he like sees Loghain. Like, did he know yeah. that was going to happen? Was no, this intentional? I don't think so. Oh, man. I don't think he knew that Loghain was out there. Did he kill the guy on purpose so that he could get connected? And it's No, like, I think that what? he just didn't like the way that guy treated. Which is fair because the dude was the a total dude. dick. And then we got lots of sword forms. Oh, yeah. That was a fantastic introduction. Yeah. Because in the books, the way that Robert Jordan describes fight scenes, he uses sword forms. So you don't get bogged down in details of like who's slashing who. It's just very poetic of like, oh, this is a form that's being used. And you don't have to worry too much about it if you don't want to. Right. And then we also learned about the heron marked blade being for a blade master. Yeah. Which means that like allegedly Tam... Was a blade master. Yeah. So all that stuff. There's a whole lot of stuff we can unpack later. 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 But holy yeah. moly, that <laughs> end sequence with Ran now partnering up with Logan. Sort of. Peeking around a corner. Being his orderly. Yeah, seriously. Like, what <laughs> is even... I just... No, no thanks. Well, here's the thing. If Maureen ain't gonna teach him, then who's I gonna teach him? I just don't love Rand having just like a regular job i love it i just can't stand it for a a little bit of time no out of all the things fantastic and i mean he's clearly good at it yeah he's really nice he's got people skills yeah but i just he doesn't like intentionally traumatize the people no i just find it kind of weird Okay. I'll get over it. Yeah, no, I'm It was sure. just initially like, what? I'm just going to go out there and say, like, I don't think he's going to be here very long. Really? Like, maybe for a couple episodes. Oh, yeah. Okay. But, like, it's not like a, we're into season 12 and it's like, no. why, well, why is Rand still working here? Well, yeah, especially <laughs> because we get introduced to some very scary new bad guys. Yeah, we do. Holy moly. Okay, so let's, let's jump around just a little bit here. Before we get into Perrin and Loyal, yeah, because yeah. there's like... That's like the big That's end the big sequence thing. here. Let's talk about Moraine and Lan. Okay. They are having a real bad breakup on screen. Well, Moraine's doing the classic push you push away. You away. Yeah. No, I get Throw it. rocks at you so you run away. I get it. Yeah. I get it. I understand where we're coming from. She's being really mean though. Yeah. You could, it's you, not a good look, Moraine. It's not. It's a bad look. It feels bad. <laughs> It makes us feel sad. Like we're all, <laughs> we're feeling all sorts of emotions. And then she's like, we're not equals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the, to well the heart. she's doing that on purpose. I know she's doing, I know why she's doing it. I understand. Yeah. And it's pretty clear now because Lan even kind of mentions the fact that like, hey, border situation isn't all up and up now. Yeah. So maybe that does explain some of the stuff we saw with the fade fight last sequence. Like yeah, in the last where I episode. said maybe he doesn't have some of his warder skills anymore. Yeah, like maybe yeah. it's not the same guy. It's not the exact same benefits we see here. Yeah. And fades are pretty freaking dangerous. But yeah, I guess Lan and Moraine are going to break up for a bit. Uh, yeah, that's what it sounds like. Yeah. Although... She says something like, don't make me get Alana to force 
Take your bond. Take your bond forcefully. Oh, no. Yeah, gonna yoink that away from you. Yeah. Well, okay. I guess if they don't have one now, yeah. does he even have any connection to Moraine? Because that's a little unclear. It is. It's all a little bit unclear, but also... Other than the just personal relationship, which I think is what he's actually holding on to. For sure. Because this is someone he actually cares about. Been around each other for 20 years. Yeah. Right? At least. Mm -hmm. yep. So it's, it's a long time. Yep. I do like the little backstory we get, but... Yeah. Jumping around a little bit, we got to go over to the White Tower now for Egwene and Nynaeve. Oh, and meeting the daughter <laughs> heir, Elaine Can. If you could that ever paint a picture. Perfect. It is the perfect. That was great. Perfect introduction. It's like, hey, you don't know me? I'm Elaine Tricant, daughter heir of Andor, the most powerful man. You're my subject? You're my subject? You, you've never heard of me? Yeah. <laughs> it's don't so Don't you good. know how famous I am? Yeah. Yeah. And I love the fact that because they're kind of like backwater village. Yeah. And even though probably maybe like technically, yeah. Part of Andor, I'm your, yeah, yeah. It's like, I'm not really part yeah. of your country. No, that was so great. It was amazing. That was so good. And then like Fast Friends. Fast Friends, but also I got to give some props to Elaine. So yeah, she comes on real strong as daughter heir. But then when the, it was like a weird, it was like a maid is going to get punished or someone's going to get punished for Elaine yeah. saying, hey, go set my stuff up in my room. She takes the blame and is like, hey, I'll take the punishment. Yes. So I got to give her props for that. Yeah. Good job. That I do was like good. that. Yeah. And she's like a little hint that she's like a tinker because she's making moonshine in a room. Yeah. With the power. Yeah. Yeah. Making my own alcohol with the power. Yeah. That and then is... Egwene is just like drinking it. That seems like Elaine, or I mean, Egwene wouldn't do that. It's like against the rules. Well, no, no, no. Because no. we've seen like in the two rivers, they drink, but it's like you don't talk about sex. Oh, yeah. It's like. That was the part. It's not that like... you don't have, it's you don't well, talk no, about I'm it. No, I'm just surprised because I'm pretty sure that the novices in the novice rooms Probably are not, not allowed, allowed to drink, to drink. Their own moonshine. Yeah. yeah you can't make like toilet beer <laughs> or uh -uh, whatever it's no, gonna be no, like you can't no, do no, that no wine <laughs> yeah what are we doing here yeah mm -hmm. yeah great introduction and then circling back to Nynaeve oh yes Nynaeve's plot holy moly with Leandrin yeah I guess we figured out okay so rude TV show make me feel bad for Leandrin oh I can't believe you did that to what me. What? I, I guess this is the man that she visits in North Harbor. And for Moraine to hold this over Leandra and like, I'm going to tell them about your son, it turns out. Yeah. That's her son. So we get the whole implication that I said I can live hundreds of years. Yeah. So yeah, if she had a son a long time ago, he's an old man. She's still young. Yeah. My heart breaks. Like It's so bad. And you're making me like, feel bad for Leandra now. I know. And she's just like the worst off the bat, like I immediately. Know. I know. And Nynaeve, who's just like the worst stalker, like lets herself be seen. Well, we saw her be the worst stalker oh, already. You land. know what? That, I was all, I was thinking about that. I yeah. was like, oh, look, she's following someone again. But is she going to do better this time? No. She literally stands in the doorway. Well, she's okay. So she's good she's, at, she's good at tracking people. She's not good at hiding from the people she's tracking. Well, no, especially because she wants to butt in and help. Yeah. It's like, get out of here. Yeah. Landry with the slap. Well, yeah. I get it. I get it. Yeah. And then it's time for the accepted test. <laughs> Guess we're doing. The, I yeah. do like the preface that Leandra's like, hey, I would I would <laughs> take this back if I could. But I put a whole bunch of things in motion that I regret. Yeah. yeah. But we got to do this now. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just follow me down the spooky hallway. Don't worry about it till we get there. Yeah. I'm sure that's not going to go terribly ever. Like, come on. What are we doing here? Yeah. Don't and then follow. hold on. Hold on. I'm just realizing something. So when... Okay, so I'm just remembering the order of events. So, yeah. Egwene and Elaine are talking. Yeah. And Egwene is bitching about Nynaeve. Yeah. Because they're having some... Heart to heart with Turmoil, yeah. the relationship sure. there. Where she when I need her. It's uh, like, well, yeah, okay, yeah. Oh, okay, Egwene. Like, yeah, yeah, here? relax. But yeah. anyway, so start to get that tension in that relationship, which actually tracks. And it that's does. fine. It makes sense. But then Nynaeve overhears it. She goes and sits alone. And then she thinks it's... A Gwen coming to her door, but it's Landon. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's the time frame. Okay. But then it's time for the accepted test, and she's got to go through the arches, which Alana and her warders were like, don't, because she can't channel reliably at all. Yeah, she can only channel when she's angry or scared. Yeah. Okay. Which, again, makes sense. Which should be fine in the arches because they make you see yeah, your fears. I mean, that's, that you was the introduction. It's like, hey, does she know her greatest fears? It's like, yeah, I'm, if I'm faced with like thousands, even just one spider, one moderately yeah, you don't big even like one like spider one small in the basement. spider. Yeah. yeah. 
that like hangs out. It's like, yeah, that's my greatest fear. Yeah. And I'll be okay to channel. Then I think Nynaeve should be okay. Yeah. But people die here. Yes. So. They'll come out. Okay. Is she coming out? Well, yes. Well, okay. Just, yeah. She's a main character. Yes. You're just like, oh, so confident. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But in what condition? Okay. Well, I'm just excited to see it. Me too. No, that's fantastic. Yeah. Okay. And now let's do a quick circle back to Min and Matt. Okay. Because there's yep. some specifics there because now they're like an unlikely duo. Yeah. That maybe can escape together somehow. Yeah. And I new Matt, that. new Matt, I have to say, doing a good job at being Matt. Oh, fantastic. Even like when Leander's walking away and he's like doing the little hand signals for the sounds that clearly he's been here for so long. He knows exactly the oh, order of yeah. like the door closing, the walk happening, the footsteps away. Yeah. And he's like, okay, boom, let's go. Yeah. And it was a spoon. It was not it a was, knife. Well, he has a knife and a spoon. He has both. He's digging with he his... get, Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's those utensils. Okay. Yeah. So. But it's Min. It is. Now. After a whole lot of conversation, yeah, some silly banter, she sees a vision. Yeah, I appreciate. I appreciate that Matt doesn't want to see his future at all. He's he doesn't like, want no, to know. You. Yeah, I feel like that's got to be a pretty big relief for Min because when we met Min, Moraine was like, "Hey, tell me everything now." Well, yeah. and also like people would bother you forever and ever and ever if they knew because like people are the yes. worst. Yes, mm-hmm. and Matt's like, "No thanks." Yeah, and Min's just kind of like. Okay. Oh, that's, that's cool. not interesting that's, to that's you. New. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that's fair. Yeah. I like that too. But then this vision of what is it? Matt it looks, stabbing Rand? It looks like Matt stabbing Rand and like bringing him down to the ground. Which feels bad. I don't like yeah, that vision. But I mean, what the hell is that? I'm what? just, I'm put, I don't like that at I'm all. I'm putting it out there. I bet Rand deserves it. However it happens, I bet Rand Yeah, but, Rand and then Min, it. who clearly knows Rand. As and, like the Dragon Reborn, and too. And recognizes him. It's like, whoa, why are you stabbing the Dragon Reborn? Yeah. Ah. And then doesn't say it at all, doesn't mention anything. I wouldn't either if I was her. I thought she might say something like. Why are you going to stab the Dragon Reborn, man? Do you know Rand Althor? Like, or something? Yeah, that'd be too big of a connection. That would be way too big. No. Because we don't communicate. You don't do that on the first no, time you meet no, someone no, but I would have. Yeah, I was like, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> No, I really hate it. this vision. It's it's it, by the way, so Rand, it's Rand's fault for sure. Anyways, okay, can we jump to the last and then we gotta? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. so pair and loyal because we get a bunch of stuff that happens. So number one, we get them walking into like a little village, village or something, but they find a fade nailed to a door. Oh yeah, but before that, we get a scene where Perrin can see the family that was here before, see them attacked, and then afterwards there's like a bunch of flies. Yeah, it's like a little blink blink scene-ish situation going yeah. on here. So, but yeah. then he's ma- angry with Elias. He's yeah. like, are you doing this to me? Well, Elias, and Elias clearly, is like, no, that's not how any of this works. He but. knows what's up and yeah. Perrin's like, ah. But it's interesting too because Elias does at one point tell Perrin like, hey, this is not your pack. Using yeah. a very specific word. Yeah, that's a that's a wolf that's word. That's a wolf term. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay, if you didn't pick up on it yet, I think they might be connected through the wolf wolves somehow. It's the wolves. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, Perrin's got to figure. That. He's got some stuff to work through. I think I before think we so. get there. But like you know, before we even think about the wolves, doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. So okay. we do get the fade nail to the door. <laughs> yeah, we do, which is pretty cool. That's good. I love it. Classic. I love the him poking at the fade's mouth like yeah. Like, in case you didn't know what this was. It's like, that's a fade. That's a fade. That's a fade right there. Yeah. And then the boot scratches on the door, like all the little details. The tiny details. And it's like, yeah. clearly this fade was alive when this started at least. That was so good. 100%. Yeah. Like, we're, we're nailing this. Absolutely. Great. Okay. okay. So then we get to another village that has people in it. Yeah, we do. We do. So this is kind of like the action sequence, too, because they all kind of camp up for the night, I guess. We're sleeping here because yeah. we're still on the track. Yeah. Still on the hunt for the uh, Pad and Fane crew and the Horn of Alir. And then, okay, so this middle of the night sequence, you see the little, like, helmets going through the window. And I'm like, uh-oh, what's going to happen? I don't yeah. know what it's going to be. These costumes are are so freaky they're scary they scare the crap out of me oh my goodness like the costume design on these guys like this so this is these are the people that came in on the boats at the end of last season yeah and if you don't recognize when we see the women who do the channeling who are like have like the gag things in their mouth they 
step up and then the same music yes plays yep. from the music from the ship in se- er, episode eight yeah of season one so that's in case you don't know who they are that's like your if you still bit. don't know yeah. that's the like these are the same people so this yeah, is like yeah. the invading so, force oh my gosh and, and they're these, so oh. powerful and just so good you know this fight sequence was awesome i think they're doing a fantastic job like i am so invested in the fight scenes the shy narns like they're holding oh, their own they're doing yeah. Badass but then, fighters. But then, no, the demonic come up and... They do. They, the they wipe the floor because yeah. it's like channelers against non-channelers and that makes sense. But yeah. I got to give a whole bunch of props to Loyal because they do a good job of like Loyal trying to get caught down by a bunch of guys. Perrin comes to save the day a little bit, but then as, so, as soon as Loyal can defend himself, he starts throwing guys all over the place. Yeah. He's a big boy. Big, strong guy. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. I, I was so happy with that. And then they're stuck in this like really precarious situation terrible. at the end. Just terrible. And then this s- elaborate. Oh my goodness. Thing. Outrageous platform. Like what do you up. call it? I don't even know. Like I know there's a word for it probably. But like the thing that's being held up by like 50. It's I a, don't know. Yeah. People carrying it. It's like a giant. It's a giant. Seat thrown p- thing. Pyramid. Yeah. <laughs> stairway pyramid. Yeah. It, it's actually, for, uh, it reminds me a lot because they have a similar thing in the movie 300. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. It's like the whole outrageous platform because like you're the almighty ruler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prince yeah. Ali, we get it. It's yeah. similar. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's like, it's again, yeah. coming back to Aladdin. It, yeah. all comes, it all circles back. Uh-huh. But besides the costumes on this outrageous platform... And we get the guy who Moraine actually kind of gave us a whole bunch of introduction to. Oh, yeah, she does, yeah. It's not the Dark One. We didn't actually kill the Dark One at the end of the last season. Oh, shoot. shoot. Ah, I thought we did. I hate when that happens. We actually released the Dark One's, like, lieutenant or lieutenant. Lieutenant, depending on what country you live in. Exactly. It's like Or what language you speak. The main guy (laughs) is Shamiel. And that's the guy. Yeah. He's the guy. And he is at the One of the Forsaken. Yeah, one of the... Or, as he introduced himself at the beginning of the episode, one of the Chosen. Chosen. One of the Chosen. Yeah, he says that at the beginning of episode one. Yeah. This season. Yeah. Yeah. So it makes sense that the bad guys would not call themselves the bad name. Right. They have a cool name. Yeah, they have a cool name. We're the chosen. We're not forsaken. I'm chosen. Yes. Yeah. And now he's going to be trying to break others free. Yes. Or something. And we're like, what is this guy doing with these scary new invaders? Part time advisor. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, independent, Seems that way. independent contractor. That's how, that's how you do it. Right. Yep. Which kind of implies that either these people who've invaded don't know he's evil. Which makes sense. Or there's dark friends among us. Which also makes sense. Yeah. It can be both. Yeah. Because I'm sure he doesn't go around being like, hey, <laughs> you can hire my services as an advisor, but also uh-huh. <laughs> I'm evil. I'm evil. Uh. Work for the literal <laughs> devil. And they're like, hmm, yes, I want that. <laughs> yeah. Do I get a discount if I yeah. hire you? I don't know. So just wild. I love it. Just oh, absolutely man. wild. Like, Unexpected. Ramp it up. Here we, we go. We are ramping it up for sure. We're kind of merging some bookish plots and we're sort of veering off on this journey that I'm really you know, excited to take. Because I, I feel like we're going to hear that we're veering off a lot, but we're well, really we actually not. Like, Well, I'll- no, what I'm saying is we're merging things going on and we don't know exactly where they're going to lead or how it's going to line up. No, that's and true. you interrupted me. I was saying I'm excited to see where it goes. Okay. It's exciting okay. when things are a little bit different and Fair. we don't know what's going on yeah. next. I'm, I, I would just always make the argument that it's actually not that far off. It's not totally far off. Like I we're disagree. Lining up. This is far off. All right. I disagree. All right. Well, I'm really eager to watch the third episode. It is out. But, oh, we forgot to talk about the food. Yeah. I mean, this was a double header. So you yeah. made the meal, the main course for, for the first one. Episode one. And you got dessert for the second one. Yeah. I made just a little spice cake. You did. You did. It was delicious. And some tea that had a suspicious aftertaste of mint for the Wheel of Time themed food for this episode. Yeah. I loved it. It was good. Good. I'm excited for episode three. Here we go. Yeah, me too. Okay. So as we say around here, it's part of the pattern now. Yeah, it's part of the pattern. 
Thanks so much for listening to this episode. The Wheel Weaves is hosted and edited by Danny and Brett, produced by Danny and Brett, with Passion Socks, Cody Feltz, Benjamin, Michelle O'Brien, Jamie Young, Megan Smiley, Jared Berg, Ricky Morissette, Lance Barden, Charlie Haz, Adam, Marta Thier, Michelle Forbes, MKM, Antoine Benoit, Lawrence Bradley, and Eric Reed, with music by Audionautics. Please be sure to check out our Patreon page if you are interested in supporting us and the podcast. We would love to send you some Patreon exclusive merchandise as a thank you. Plus, you'll gain access to our episodes earlier than everyone else. And at the time of recording, we have over 40 bonus episodes for your listening pleasure. You can find all that and more at patreon.com slash the wheel weaves podcast. For general information about our show and information like how to send us shot glasses or how to join our Discord or how to get in touch with us, you can visit thewheelweavespodcast.com. And as always, please be sure to give us that five-star review because it really does make a huge difference in helping other people find us. Right now, we are offering to send exclusive merchandise to select people who give us five-star reviews if you leave your username for Instagram or Twitter and I'll reach out to you that way. Also, please be sure to tell a friend, Riyadh, because referrals really are the best compliment. Thanks again for listening. This really is part of the pattern now.